divas and divos. What's up, YouTube? What's up, everyone? Today's video, okay, first of all, this is the third time that I've worked with this company, Fabulous Petite Care. Let me just mention, I am rocking my son's jersey today. I told you guys this in a previous video that wearing his things makes me feel good. So I feel like I need to represent him at all times. And, you know, this is just one of his favorite jerseys. He took me out on a lunch date in this. So it is very close and near and dear to my heart, just as well as he is. So Fabulosity so, Hair is a website that specializes in braided wigs. I have done two videos. I love their wigs. They're very natural looking. They come with elastic bands, combs. Girl, you get all the good stuff. You don't have to sit in the chair for hours and hours and hours to get your hair did. Like, you just put on a lace wig and you can go. The very first one that I got, um, I did love it so much that I wore it for like two weeks straight and I just used the ball cap method. I'll definitely link both of the videos down below. Oh. This third try is definitely going to be a doozy. It's a hairstyle that I absolutely love. I used to rock this back in the day when my mom would get my hair corn rolled or I'd get extension braids added to my own hair and it was the Bo Derrick okay that was my favorite corn roll style braid ever um I think it just suited my head good you know because I tell you guys I have a long hair uh, this unit it's called the Miss Muffins unit and the cool thing about it it comes with some really cool stuff in the bag so for one, you will get a bag like this that you can keep your wig in or whatever you want to put in here. And it's just the Miss Muffins by Fabulosity hair bag. So your unit will come in this. You'll get a wig cap, bow, a little bow bonnet. It's wide enough to where you can sleep with it at night and protect your hair. And it has the elastic throughout the entire thing. So it will definitely cover your wig up, whichever wig you decide to put on. But damn. A bonnet so that way you can sleep at night with your wig on and you have enough space for all of the braids that you have going on this is like a huge bonnet like for real i feel like i'm about to fly somewhere like take off like invade your country like type thing like hello i have satin lining and the elastic is perfect thing also on the website the currency is set to pounds so make sure that you check the currency tab on the upper right corner so that way you can switch it to your desired country that you live in you'll definitely need to check that also the processing time is three weeks please be understanding that it's processing time takes three weeks these are made to order there are some units on the website that are in stock currently you know probably could ship out right away but this one is about three weeks processing time okay so you guys, um, let me show you this wig. It does come with baby hairs, okay? It does come with three combs inside, but I did remove the middle one because I'm gonna put on a stocking cap. Also has an elastic band in it. And if it's, you know, not tight enough, then just take some a needle and thread and just sew it, or you can just take like yourself and tie it. And then it has the adjustable strap and the combs in the neck. Lula's full lace wig, okay? I think I got 20 inches. I'm not really sure, I can't remember. I've had this unit for a minute. Um, but the braids are so neatly done for one, the ends are just really neatly done. Plus, also, you get it in a variety of colors. And it's, let's just get into this video real quick. I will definitely post all of the information down below. I'm gonna cut the back of the lace and then we're gonna be good to go. Okay, y'all, so let's get into this. So, as you guys see, I have my stocking cap and I always cut the top of it just so that way the wig cap don't slip back. And to adhere the wig cap, I'm just gonna be using some of my Got to Be Glam Force hairspray. This hairspray will definitely hold your wig cap for the ball headed cap method. So, you just wanna spray around the hairline perimeter, like a little bit below it. And you can spray some on top of the cap as well so that way you can adhere to your hair. And just use your blow dryer on cool to medium heat to blow dry it definitely going to take a couple of minutes so i'm going to just speed through this part because you guys already know it's going to dry you can also use gel whatever you like to use to do the ball cap method i don't really want it too stuck to my head so i don't really use a lot of product now because it's a little light i'm just going to use my lace wig tinting spray this stuff is wash washable it'll definitely wash out your hair or your wig cap or your wigs it's a semi-permanent um 
tint so it also will help your hair with uh, moisturizing because they do put something inside of it so I'm not too worried about it on my cap or a little bit getting on my hair I'm just gonna take my sponge and dap it on or you can use makeup too if you want to but I just decided to use this because it would take less time I'm not gonna make it perfect because you know it, it is a braided wig so it doesn't have to be fully fully colored in you'll just see little spots of the color and so then once your wig cap is dry you want to take your scissors and cut right below where you hair sprayed it at okay and that's what I'm just doing right here and once you're done cutting it you want to try to make sure that it's kind of like even make sure you don't have any little nylon shreds or whatever and just cut away Mine's not going to be perfect because by the time I finish with it, it'll look just like a ball cap method. Now I'm going to take my got to, be glue, uh, got to Be Glam Force Gel and I put mine in the jar just to oxidize it. It'll make it much thicker versus it coming right out the tube and it'll also help it um, adhere better and dry quicker. So I'm just going to take a plastic knife and I'm just going to just put on some of the gel, especially around the edges so that way it doesn't roll up or anything like that. And I'm just going to take my blow dryer and tack it down with the edge of the knife the plastic knife you can use a spatula whatever you have popsicle sticks and that's it it's dry it's almost dry and this wig cap will stay on for a couple of days now I went ahead and put the lace wig on already and of course it, the knots are uh, somewhat bleached but we're gonna fix that up at the end and as you guys see I told you it does come with baby hairs in the front of it which are braided so and now it's time to unbraid those and I'm just going to definitely cut them and pluck some of them because even though it does come with baby hairs you don't have to use them all so in this portion right here you just see me adhering the wig to my head you know I'm just gonna use some of that same hairspray this hairspray is absolutely good it will hold your wig down for a few days especially if you tie it and you can just go ahead and blow dry it if you don't have a blow dryer then I would highly suggest do not spray the entire front of the cap all at once just spray in small sections and use your rat tail cone to just tack it down till it dries and now the fun part of just customizing these baby hairs and sideburn hairs. You know, I don't like them too long because it's supposed to mimic your own hair. You want to make the wig look as natural as possible. Plus, the fun thing about braided wigs is you don't have to sit into the chair for hours and hours getting your hair braided. So now is the part where I'm just going to tweeze some of these out. Just going to tweeze them out, um, you know, little by little to see how thick I want it. Like I said, I don't want it too thick. And some of them I do leave on just because, you know, sometimes over the long term, some of them may fall out. But you just want to pre-pluck, tweeze, and cut them to your desired look. So that's what I'm doing here, girl. Just pre-plucking. And that's about it. We're going to just finish the rest of the video with me just styling and profiling, I guess. I'm, you know. Well, not now. We will in a few minutes, but I'm going to take my got to be volume mania hair styling mousse and I'm just going to style some of those baby hairs. You know, this part will definitely take a minute, especially because it's a braid wig. So you really can't push the hairs to hide them. So you definitely want to make sure that you, you know, hook it up. And that's what I'm doing. Hooking it up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. This is the Slipster. This is the Slipster. Nothing can I like it. I like it a lot. I really do like it. This was one of my favorite hairstyles back in like the 90s, the 80s. You know what I'm saying? I wore this hairstyle a lot. So this is one of my favorite braid styles. Definitely had to have this recreated. Um, it's lightweight, the longer the braids that you will order, it will get a little bit more heavier. I can't remember what this length was. I'm thinking it's probably like either 20 or 22 inches. 
I'll definitely leave all the information for my unit down below. But I like it. It's very comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Um, it fits well. I didn't even need the elastic band, even though it's still attached to the cap. It was a little bit big. It comes standard, so you can definitely either cut it in half and tie it, or you can just sew it together and make it tighter. I actually do feel like it fits very well. I told you guys, the braids are done so neatly. You know what I mean? The braids look so neat on this unit. If you feel like the knots are not bleached enough to your liking, girl, just put you on some pressed powder, and it's easily easy to apply. And all you need to do is just brush it in between the braids. But yes, girl, fabulosity here. I will leave all of the information below for the Miss Muffins unit. I like the fact that you don't have to sit in the chair for hours because the girl don't have patience. I cannot sit there. Plus, you could just get up, throw it on, and go. Then get up, throw it on, and go and put something different on. The next day, like, you could just be something different every day or just MIA. Like, nobody will recognize you because you'd be having, like, all these different looks. That's what I'd be liking. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So on that note, I love you guys. Stay diva and be delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. I love you. Oh,